Look, 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 look. I said, can that? Do you believe that genes can influence beliefs and attitudes? Yes. Do they always? No. Because no. you have twins that are have completely, you got a Muslim and a Christian and they, you know, Siamese twins. You know, I mean, like, but, but there can be a genotype of generational trends and tendencies that come down in this. In the, Tanisha does not think so. Why don't you think so? Because it's all influence. It's all influence? Mm -hmm. So you... Interesting. So you so you are not one that believes in nature and nurture. No, you, I believe, but it, when it comes to certain things, I don't think it's genetic. Like, at all? Not your belief, yeah, no. Anybody want to respond to that? Abdul and then Savannah? Yeah, you got, like, say for instance, um, like the book gave an example about a person who steals. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, somebody could be, like, genetically... That's, have a that's predisposition a to... You don't believe in that? No. I believe in it because, like, my cousin, right? My little cousin. <laughs> his, um, his father died when he was about three years old. Never, wow. never really seen his pops before. Mm. But his pops was a thief, stole everything. Like, he just had a problem with stealing. He yeah. stole from anybody for no reason. He had money, he had everything. We call those cut bills. Cut bills, yeah. And he's the same way. Never met his father, never had an influence or anything. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is this is a good this is a good conversation that we're having right here because I'm going to introduce something to you. Kind of like what he was saying, like you know, the saying like you are your mother's child or something like that. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. Tariq. But well, to the same so respect, I was just doing a paper in English on racial cleansing in America, mm -hmm. and they was using that to uh, sterilize like mentally ill people because they felt as though they didn't want those kids to come out like their parents mm -hmm. or that they criminals and the kids gonna be criminals. Mm -hmm. But everyone is an individual. They so if a person's a certain way then they feel a certain Right. Way. Here's here's the danger in this conversation. I think what Tanisha is saying, there's no guarantee. Yeah, you guys with me? Yeah. Yeah. And I think we all agree always. with that. That there's no guarantee that because your family is of a particular culture and has a particular belief system and values and so on and so forth, that that you are going to be like that or have a disposition or I think proclivity. That the ones like his situation are exception to the rules. Okay, but 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 you said that that never happens. If it's an exception to the no, rule, that means that it can be. If there's a possibility. It, yeah, it's a possibility, but okay. it's, I don't believe, like, how can I put it? In genotypes, having attitudes and predispositions for beliefs. Okay, no, that's, that's fair. That's fair. No. That's fair. I'm, I don't know how to. I think, I, I, I get you. I get you. Anybody else want to respond to Sylvana? Do you just want to say something? No, like, um. It's like you said, it's, we're not saying that all the cases is like that, like that 100%. But in some of the cases, because I don't believe completely, like it, it can be some, you know, cases that might be different. Not everything has to be like that. But. Uh, I believe that you can be born with a certain disposition, but you can be conditioned to change it. There you go. So. <laughs> Here's Daphne. I think that attitude wise and personality wise, I think it does relate to genes, but I don't think action wise. Right. Okay. That's what I, I think, and I think that's what m maybe Maricela may be saying. You have to choose. To change. Because yeah. everyone can be different, and you can decide the path to take in life and stuff like that. But attitude wise and personality wise, you could take over someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're watch this though. But you to say you're born with. Okay. All right. The ability with, to want with. To okay. Feel like okay. You can't I'm with you. That. I'm with you. Um. So, so let me ask you all something. All right, let's let's go ahead. And let's let's take a risk here. All right, let's let's take a risk here. How, how many of us in the classroom would say that we are uh, that we believe in the spiritual realm? That we believe in the faith spiritual realm. How many people in the classroom would say that? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, for those of us that believe in the spiritual realm, then there are spiritual characteristics that 
we we would then have to acknowledge that there are spiritual characteristics and influences that are passed down generationally, right? Mm -hmm. would, we, would we agree with that? Yes. yes. Okay. So watch, watch. Remember the five different dimensions of how we evaluate Maria. Remember? We have cognitive, social, cultural, psychodynamic. Remember? Well, what Western... Can I have my book? What Western science and psychology is perceived as a Western science. Western science doesn't take into account the spiritual realm or the spiritual dimension. Mm -hmm. Did you guys, you guys remember when we had Maria over there and we looked at the five different ways in which we evaluate someone? Mm -hmm. Notice spirituality was not in that. Mm -hmm. I was going to wait to the end of the class to kind of close with that, but spirituality was not in that. So, 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 if we are persons of faith and we do believe in a spiritual dimension, then there's something else influencing genotype as well, besides just nurture and culture, but there's a, a higher dimension that's at play as well. If you're with me, just, does that make sense? For those of you all that are spiritual, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, what's interesting here is it says ideological belief systems may have evolved to be organized along a left-right dimension consisting of two core sets of attitudes. Whether a person advocates social change or supports the system as is. Whether a person thinks inequality is a result of human policies and can be overcome or is inevitable and should be accepted as part of natural order. All right? Um, what they did here was they looked at um, heredity, and then they looked at the non-shared environment, and they looked at one's belief and compared that to their culture or their heredity. All right, so you have all these different factors here, and then the proportion of variance accounted for, whether or not you believe it or whether or not you disagree with it, so on and so forth. And what was the findings? Well, there, these are the findings that, that um, there was a, uh, for each, I mean, it depends on which one you're talking about. It, it, it really was different. That there, there was a, um, a different level of association based on whatever it was, you know, for instance, school prayer, the variance was not as strong. You see that? Versus the draft or going into the military, there's a little bit more variance. Um, rated movies, do you believe in them or not believe in them? Immigration, death penalty, and you kind of just go down the, go down the list and you see... Um, whether certain fundamental or religious attitudes have a genetic component. Has this been proven? Well, um, it's been debated. They haven't actually... There, there's, there's, there's data on both sides. So they're debating. The, the persons who are for it show more of a connection or a correlation. And the persons who are against it obviously show the larger variance. No, so, so they do have genetic evidence showing that well, well, some well, traits can be yeah, hereditary well, or actions can be hereditary? Yeah, well, here's, here's how it would work. Because there's not an attitude gene, you have to watch. You with me? You have to... That's what I mean. Like, yeah, when I think so... of genetics, that's what I mean. Like, they found a gene or a trait right. within no, no, their no, no, blood. No, 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 no. Tanisha, that's not what they're doing. What they're doing is they're saying... So that's why I'm against... No, no, work with me for a second. What they're doing is they're saying African Americans with the last name Morgan who are from Washington, D.C., Basically, Kobe's family from this area, they all seem to believe certain things. They all seem to value certain things.
things. And so they're studying whether or not there's a, there's a gene component to the shared beliefs and customs and traditions that we embrace. They're studying that. They're debating that. Mm -hmm. There's some people that say there's enough evidence that says, yes, there is a correlation. Remember, we were looking at correlation between Morgans and what we like to do, mm -hmm. and an attitude or a type. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's debatable because we get into whether or not it's nature or nurture. Well, if I'm raised around a bunch of Morgans, then I'm going to end up acting like and believing like what the Morgans do. Mm -hmm. If we all eat soul food and go to church on Sunday, then I'm going to grow up having that norm or that custom or that tradition mm -hmm. is being valued. So what the archaeologists and anthropologists are doing is they're saying over time, can social practices and behaviors be transformed into a genotype? Can there over thousands and millenniums of years, over centuries upon centuries, can a genotype be formed based on ongoing patterns and traditions? I think it's an interesting stuff. I think it's fabulous. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a, ge a, ge a geneticist, but I think. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. That's Correct. why some with some of these girls go to these sperm banks. They want to know the background for the sperm. That, that, that's a perfect example, and I think I think that would be an example that would support the argument that there is a genotype, and the genotype is coming with more than just protein and spermatozoa. That there's 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 chromosomes, and there's history, and there's legacy, and there's it's just not sperm and egg. I'm okay with that. To what degree that influences, I, you know, we'll, we'll continue to fight until, you know, Armageddon on, you know, its impact and its value. But, but um, there's a whole lot more coming in the sperm and the egg than I think we realize. Abdul. Yeah. I mean, I do realize that everybody are responsible for their own actions to a certain point, but a lot of people are in a position to be conditioned, you know, to do right and wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I mean, I want to say like the genes, they, they, I think they represent the urges. Yeah, there you go. The Excellent point. And I think that's what Daphne was saying. I think that's what Maricela was saying. And I think that's what Tanisha said. The genes give us a proclivity or a disposition or, or as they would say in faith-based sectors, a bent towards a particular style or, or lifestyle. You didn't remind me to read. Okay. Yeah, I was about to get there, Professor. Okay. So, but listen, I think to what Abdul and Daphne and Tanisha are saying, and Maricel are saying, is important. Just because you have the urge does not mean that you have to act on that urge. But listen, but listen, but listen. For for my Muslims in the room, and for my Christians in the room. And for my Jews in the room, we all believe that we're sons and daughters of Abraham. And if we all believe that we're sons and daughters of Abraham, then we all believe that we're sons and daughters of Adam. And if we believe that we're all sons and daughters of Adam, we're a hot mess because of our great, 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 it's bringing something with it. So for the Muslims and the, I'm, I'm, we can have this conversation. For the Muslims and the Christians and the Jews, we our faith, our 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 legacy comes from Abraham. We believe in the Book of Genesis, yes. the Adam and Eve story. So it's tough. That's why I said if you are a faith-based person that comes from Christianity, Christianity or Islam, you gotta you gotta deal with Adam and Eve. And what they pass down to all of their descendants, and Adam and Abraham's lie, and Abraham, you know, with Hagar, and Abraham, I mean, we 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 got to deal with that. But it's interesting to study, and we're not going to resolve it. Here, all right. So I will see.